Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and welcome back to Shout Out Series number six. I hope you guys are looking forward to this as much as I am. This is quite possibly the first time I've actually been on time. So yeah, today is March 1st, and so these are my shout outs for January and February. Now, on my shout out series, okay, this is a list of different YouTube channels that I have come across in the recent months and have gotten lots of inspiration from them. And so I want to share them with you. All of the names on the list will be in the description box along with the link directly to their channel so that it makes it easier for you to pop on over. Now, I am not um, asking you to hop on over and immediately subscribe to their channel. What I am simply doing here is sharing YouTube channels that I enjoy. You can head over to their channel and you can make the decision for yourself whether or not their channel is something that you'd be interested in. I love to share. You know my saying, sharing is caring. So if I come across somebody that has inspired me in any way, shape, or form, I like to shout them out. So here we go. Without further ado, uh, oh, also, well, wait a second. Also, I'll link in the description box below my shout out series that I've done in the past, the other videos that I have. So if you wanna see them to get even more inspiration, head on over there and watch those videos if you so desire. Okay, now let's get started. First we, oh, wait. <laughs> Let me just explain if, if this is the first time you're seeing a shout out video from me. These little asterisks, down here on the side mean that these are either new channels, new to YouTube, so they are, they are growing channels, they're new, or they are new to me, like I've just found them through other means, okay? Um, so that's what these little stars mean. And then the blue E's along here mean that they have an Etsy store to my knowledge, okay? Uh, so if you're interested in Etsy and what they have to offer, then go ahead and click their link. All right. Now I'm not kidding. We're going to start. Okay. So Nairobi, she, uh, is a scrapbooker. She does mixed media and she also does knitting, I believe crocheting as well. On her channel, she does something called 100 Days Project, and it's a series of collaging that she does, and they are beautiful in their simplicity, and they're just like, um, what are they called? Like, she shows the process of her collaging a few days in a row in one of her collage books, and she sets it to music and it's just very relaxing to watch. I really enjoy her style. She's also been doing zines lately, which are absolutely gorgeous. So uh, yeah, and there, there's lots more on her station so or on her channel. So go over there and check her out if you so desire. Then we have Jessica Rapp and y'all know, y'all know, you've been hearing her name pop up in my uh, videos of late, okay? I am a complete fangirl of Miss Jessica, and she is, yeah, she is my latest obsession, okay? <laughs> she is new to YouTube, and she has some fabulous videos. She also does um, live sessions, okay? She does live sessions on Wednesday evenings and Sunday evenings at 4 p.m., Pacific time, okay, which is, I believe, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So, those are super fun, okay, and um, I, I just, I love watching her channel. I love watching her and being a part of her live streams because they are so fun. She is just so... Um, generous with her talent and I really really appreciate that from any youtuber so yeah go on over and check her out if you want to she's just got fabulous fabulous ideas and she is extremely creative and yeah obsessed for sure then we have Debbie's journals and Debbie is a dear Fobo friend of mine 
and we've been friends for a few years now through the Fobonichi journalers group and on her channel you'll find journal flips like Fobonichi flip throughs uh, she also does art journaling and she does chat videos which are super fun excuse me one second here comes Fred <coughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, then we have Recreation. She's very new as well to um, YouTube, I believe. And her name is Brooke, and she does junk journaling. She has this gorgeous journal that she made. It's called um, My Garden for All Seasons, and she made it out of a Reader's Digest. You know, she repurposed a Reader's Digest book and made it into a journal. She's using it, I believe, as her Fobonichi um, like slash creative journal and it is absolutely stunning. Okay. I love it. So she also does repurpose books. She is very much into, um, you know, like collecting vintage things and vintage books and repurposing them. And yeah, she is totally fabulous. So go over there and check her out. Her voice is so soothing as well. And I know this might be creepy, but she has got a gorgeous set of hands, okay? Unlike myself, you know? But yeah, <laughs> her fingernails are always just so beautifully painted and her hands are just so gorgeous and her voice is so soothing. She's just really fun to watch. So, and, and she has a terrific sense of humor too. So go over there and check her out if you want to. Um, and then we have the Vegan Crafter. And I just came across her channel not too long ago because uh, I was in a search for crocheting videos. And so, uh, yeah, she is super cute. Oh my gosh. And Heidi, I swear, if you're watching this, like you so remind me of my sister-in-law. <laughs> One of them, one of my sisters-in-law, and your sense of humor is hilarious. Your mannerisms remind me so much of her, and so I just, I love watching you. So yeah, if y'all are interested in knitting, crocheting, and she does like these chat vlogs, she is hilarious, okay? So you've got to go over there and watch her if you want to. Uh, then we have Crafting Vicky, and I've been Facebook friends with her uh, through the art community for a while now. And she is just an all-around crafter, right? She does art journaling. She does mixed media. She does junk journaling. Um, she does use your stash videos, which are really cool. She's just an all-around mix uh, of art and crafting and journaling and all sorts of things. She's from Canada, and I'm um, super duper sweet, so check her out if you so desire. And then we have Mrs. Cog. Uh, this is, she. her channel is new to me. Um, I do believe I might have heard about her from Charlene Sherrod. And I've shouted out Charlene before. I'll go ahead and leave her link below as well. She has an Etsy store. I Again, these little E's here, they have Etsy stores. So before I go into Mrs. Cog, um, Jessica has an Etsy store where she sells her beautiful junk journal. She sells, um, just a variety of things. So make sure to check that out. Recreations, um, Brooke has an Etsy store as well. So make sure you check her out if you're into the whole Etsy thing. And then we have Mrs. Cog and she sells, um, her stuff on Etsy as well. Excuse me. She has got, I mean, gorgeous junk journals okay unbelievably stunning journals if i'm not mistaken she just did a giveaway for an audrey hepburn uh junk journal oh my gosh it, oh gosh it, i mean it's unbelievable she she is extremely talented she also does homesteading so if you're interested in that she has videos on homesteading and um, she does tutorials as well. And some of the videos that I've just recently seen were repurposed planners. So what she does is she takes the planner, like, you know, the leather or pleather cover of a planner with uh, the rings in the center. I don't know what they're called. They're just like planner covers and with a little snap closure on the front. And she takes those and makes her own like planner out of it, junk journal style, like vintage junk journal style. They are unbelievably stunning. I mean, gorgeous. So yeah, go check out Mrs. Cog if you want to, if that's something you're interested in. Okay, then we have Art Journal Junkie, and this is Trish from South Africa, and you know, 
I could listen to people talk from other countries like all the day long, okay? I love Canadian accents. I love South African accents. I love Australian accents. I just love accents, British accents, you know. So she's fun to watch just if you want to listen to a very beautiful accent. <laughs> but she does do art journaling. Um, and she does mixed media and she also has a Facebook group called Art Journal Junkies, I believe. And if I can find the link, I will link it below. I'm not part of the Art Journal Junkie Facebook group because I don't really do um, art journaling right now. So, but, uh, but yeah, if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. The link will be below. And then we have Babeth. Um, Kaprowski, I hope I pronounced that correct, and she is Babette Marie. I can't remember who, I was watching a video and somebody mentioned her, and so I went in search for her and found her uh, YouTube channel. She's fairly new to YouTube, and so she loves to art and journal, and she does some watercolor. She uses Neo Color 2s. And she was showing like a almost like a tutorial the other day how in her journal she was using the Neo Color 2s to make um, these beautiful splatters. In fact, let me just, I have it here in my book. Let me show you. Like this right here. These splatters right here, if you can see that. Super fun way to decorate your page. So. Uh, that's where I learned that from, was uh, from Babette Marie. She also does faces in her journal. And yeah, so she was a lot of fun to watch. And so check her out if you so desire. And then we have Carla Frizzell. Carla, dear, I hope I pronounced your last name right. I found Carla actually through Jessica. And uh, because Carla is one of Jessica's moderators on her... Um, what are they called? The live streams. And so Carla has a wonderful YouTube channel. She is a busy bee. Let me tell you what. Okay. So she makes junk journals, beautiful junk journals. She makes flow journals. Um, and I'm not sure if she sells her journals or not. I do. When I was researching and, and watching some of her videos, I could have sworn and Carla, let me know if you're watching this, if you have an Etsy store, go ahead and link it in the comments because um, when I was watching one of your videos, it said like a, ba a baby journal for sale, but then I didn't see like where it was for sale. So um, if you have an Etsy store, let me know in the comments. But yeah, she just, she, she, like I said, she is a busy, busy bee, okay? She makes so many beautiful things. So go over and check Carla out. And she's also fairly new to YouTube. Um, and she's also part of the, um, junk journal connections, which is a Facebook group that I will link below as well. And I am a member of that. It's Jessica Raps group. So yeah, I will go ahead and link that as well below the Facebook group. So go ahead and check Carla out. And then there's, I plan to create, she has an Etsy store and uh, she's also fairly new, not, she's not really new to YouTube. Maybe on, in this case, she's probably new to me. I have been watching her for a little bit because uh, I think originally I found her through, cro through crochet. Sorry, my tongue was tied. Through crocheting. So she has a separate channel for crocheting. This channel right here that will be linked below focuses on the her junk journals okay so she has junk journals that she makes handmade journals she does haul videos she does tutorials on making junk journals she does have an etsy store and then like i said she also has a crochet uh, why is that word so hard to get out today she also has a crochet channel okay so check her out she makes beautiful 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 things um and then of course as you all know my shout outs would not be complete unless I put in a vlog of some sort. So yeah, I've recently been turned on to a vlogging channel called Our Tribe of Ten. And it's a large family vlog, okay? And I'm, they don't, I'm not sure if they daily vlog or not, but they do have quite a few videos up. Um, they are a large channel, uh, in my opinion. 
and soon it will be 11. They're gonna have to change their name because she's having another bumpkin. Yeah, she's having another little precious gem here shortly. And they homeschool, and it's just, you know, a, a daily vlog about their life as a large family. So it's really interesting to watch, fun to watch, so check them out if you're interested in that type of thing. And there you have it. There is my shout out for January and February. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all go over to these channels, give them a try, see if it's something that fits your crafting journey uh, or YouTube journey. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I hope this was helpful and I hope you find some inspiring channels for yourself. And I thank you for sharing your time with me and I'll catch you on the next shout out. Bye.